the adoption of gas and liquid fertilisers has boosted wheat yields by more than half a tonne per hectare for Taluna farmer Phil Bardsley. After conducting anhydrous ammonia trials on his property north of Moree last year, Mr Bardsley saw large increases in wheat yield, which he attributes to injecting the gas fertiliser into his soil during sowing. The trials I did there last year with the anhydrous ammonia, because it's just 82% nitrogen, that's the most limiting nutrient here besides rainfall, but um, had a yield increase of about 0.68 tonnes per hectare and the net increase was about $110 a hectare after you paid for the, for the gas, so you know it was well worth doing. Uh, the liquid fertiliser, which is uh, phosphorus and zinc, it's just a replacement uh, strategy like to maintain long-term fertility. On his zero-till controlled traffic system, Mr Bardsley uses anhydrous ammonia knives placed closely to his sowing row. He's careful the gas doesn't interfere with the seed, as that can limit crop growth and prosperity. Increased grain quality is another benefit he's seen since adopting the new fertiliser strategy, but he says growers shouldn't rely on ammonia to gain protein. With the zero-till you're improving your soil. Uh, one of the things you notice when you're planting uh, is the huge number of earthworms this country's got, so it's gone back to its sort of natural state as far as soil biology is concerned. That's just from not, not disturbing it from cultivation and um, maintaining all the stubble. As a sole operator, Mr Bardsley is always on the lookout for efficient farm management strategies, right down to strategically placing sheds, silos and equipment in a central location on his property. It's all centralised, so all the silos and everything and the shed are here in the middle of the middle of the farm. Um, so when I'm spraying I just come back to this point. I've got the chemical shed set up with the pumps and the chemical and all that. And then for sowing all the gears here, the, the grouper and the uh, anhydrous gas trailer, um, your fuel trailer and all that just saves me a lot of time. Instead of having to move equipment and that you just, yeah, 10 minute drive back to the silos and fill up. Having previously worked as a Grains Research and Development Corporation Northern Panellist, Mr Barsley still keeps in contact with the GRDC to stay up to date with the latest research and technology. Getting the information to growers, like Ground Cover Magazine is really good. Uh, they've got a good website, you can get information off that. But the biggest thing for growers and advisors has been the, the updates. Gun to Windy has the, the advisor update which is really good and they have grower updates through different uh, parts of the region which yeah, are excellent.